Congratulations, nine months has been already passed. So I'm now I'm, I'm very happy to enjoy both my uh, professional and private life. Um, because I'm, uh, uh, there are no only discussion to force me to join, and no assignment to submit before that one. But it's a nice memory for me, anyway. So um, thank you very much for providing me this fantastic opportunity to present a very short presentation before the formal seminar. So I just want to pick out a hot issue relating to not only my industry, but also every industry, and eventually my life, our life. So uh, my topic is about airline strategy against hike of oil price, as David mentioned. So, higher oil price suddenly affects our business. So, for example, fuel price is the biggest factor in expense in most airline industry, airline companies. Personal cost used to be the first, but now it is the second in most companies. As you may know, Delta Airlines has announced to merge with Northwest Airlines. The trigger of this merger is a higher oil price. So not only them, but also other US mega airlines and other airlines in the world are really struggling to survive in the market under this business climate. However, a few US airlines are really stable and profitable due to effective fuel hedging strategy. Does anyone know or um, guess the name of the airlines? That's right, Southwest Airlines. Yes. And uh, I think and, uh, I have experience to have a case of Southwest Airlines in the university. It's a lot. It's very famous and the airline at the moment. So, and for example, if South East, Southwest and had not hedged at all, um, their profit of $26 million would be a loss of $8 million in quarter one in 2004. There are three strategies for fuel hedging in airline industries. The first one is over-the-counter installments, which are traded directly between the airline company and investment banks. Southwest mainly takes this strategy for its fuel hedging. The second strategy is exchange traded futures, which are traded by a broker in the market. This is a common strategy in airline industry nowadays. The third strategy is no hedging, which airlines need to purchase 100% of fuel at their market rate. So please take out the, this slide. So uh, this is our company data. This is a bit of confidential one. So, um, this top group uh, very successful for fuel hedging. However, um, the bottom group uh, no hedging. So uh, that's why uh, um, Northwest Airlines and Delta Airlines has merged, and Continental are uh, now on the table to talk with America for merging. So the reason, the main reason for no hedging is that some of them cannot afford to trade over-the-counter installments or futures by brokers because of their lack of cash after 9 events. In addition, some executives in such airlines often comment that hedging is not one of their core competencies. And as long as their competitors do not hedge, everyone in the industry will be exposed to the same risk. Therefore, since oil price continues surging, 
hairline without fuel hedging are more struggling. Fuel hedging strategy is important in current airline industry. However, it's difficult to handle because oil price may plummet or investment, investment banks or uh, broker may not accept at the lower oil price anymore to try. Therefore, on top of fuel hedging strategy, airline companies need to continue to cut more cost in order to survive in the market and prepare for the further negative <coughs> factors in the market. Merger may be the uh, first and best strategy in the industry like Delta and Northwest. In terms of merger, Mr. Schultz at Flex Kinko will say the pros and cons in his presentation. Thank you very much. Do you have any question about it? Yes, please. Yes. What are the best hedging strategy, uh, actual techniques or strategies used by, uh, for example, Northwest or Air France? Can you detail so, that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Southwest has a very deep and uh, very best strategy in place at the moment. Because uh, now the current CEO used to be the CFO uh, five years ago six years ago, and they had, and he has, he has really clever person, and uh, he has implemented, and uh, he has done um, the first strategy over the counter investment. So uh, he uh, himself uh, negotiated with the investment bank to get very good and uh, hedging rate in advance. So uh, I, I hear and uh, Southeast, Air, Southeast Airlines uh, can purchase very low fuel rate for five years or six years. So uh, I think I, I hear that uh, Air France and KLM also has a good strategy for <coughs> fuel hedging, but I'm not sure about about it. So uh, I think that Air France and KLM, I I hear rumor that they have the and the second strategy, um, exchange traded fu uh, futures. And that is a mixture of oil grading product for the future. So and, uh, I think that uh, it may be a uh, good strategy for the company. Yeah. How much differential do you see in the fuel surcharge between airlines? I mean, logically, Southwest and British Airways should have a low fuel surcharge to and the United to the customer. Yeah. So, uh, it's it very difficult to answer. So, uh, the highest surcharge in Japan um, is from Japan Airlines and Europe Airways. So, uh, for example, and uh, from tomorrow, first of July, uh, Japan Airlines and Europe Airways and uh, um, asking you to pay um, 56,000 yen for Europe out the toilet from Japan to London or London to Japan. So 56,000 yen, it's very expensive. And we are uh, requesting uh, 54,000 yen. It's not so big. <laughs> <laughs> so and now I'm uh, our airline strategy in Japan is uh, we are asking the customer to a little bit of less than Japan Airlines or Airways. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm just thinking, uh, probably the uh, out of the box uh, thinking. I'm thinking of this way that if all the uh, the you know the oil price is actually going up as it is now. Why not the uh, airline industries actually combine together and have like uh, their own uh, invest in oil wells, you know, somewhere in the world, build their oils directly, and start uh, developing the, uh, <laughs> the passengers? Uh, yes, uh, but that, that's a good question. I think and, uh, and the president or CEO and Southwest Airlines are concerned to do it, I think so. And because and, uh, they are, how do I say, they are really innovative rather than other mega airlines. So 
But so and uh, so if and uh, and even if oil price is plummet and uh, plunge, so and uh, airline need to consider to merge because and uh, how, do I, how do I say and uh, mega airline has a huge cost, not only fuel price but also personal cost as I said. So personal cost is still high. So and uh, now and uh, low cost carrier like Southwest and JetBlue and uh, or. Ryanair Air is now struggling, but the uh, other European EasyJet uh, now are really growing and growing. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, there are two uh, categories in the airline market. So uh, uh, I say that the uh, middle range will be removed, and uh, mega and uh, really brand carrier will be existing, and low cost carrier is existing. There, there are two uh, categories will be there. So and uh, in the future, so and uh, some airline might invest uh, oil or something like that, yeah. but I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.